The people have some questions. What it do, y'all? This is your girl, Sajay Craziness, and I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another Word on Street segment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. So, Jermaine Dupri stopped by V103 to talk about this new album or record he got with the artist, artist Currency. So, he talked about Fold, Fold Day here in the A, and he discussed, well, he really didn't say, <sighs> it's like he was dancing around the whole question. Um, that Shamil had asked him basically pertaining to the candy got that much power to tell somebody to shelve or cancel Latasha's album supposed to be had came out around that time. You know, she alleged that uh, candy was the one that re the reason why she couldn't get her album out under so so death. But let's just hear what he got to say, and y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. So we just had um, Escape in here the other day, um, and then we had Latasha in here, here as well. I know you know all the drama that's been going on with them from their show, Queens of R&B. They've been going back and forth about a lot of stuff. One thing, uh, they brought your name up. It was saying that um, you were responsible for not uh, releasing Latasha's album. So they said, well, why don't you ask JD about it? Did she ever ask you about that? No. What do you know? They don't ask happened? me nothing. They don't what would have been your answer? Because Tasha blamed Candy for it, and you know, it was saying you can't say that at the time, and she was like, I, I, I ain't gonna stop your music from coming out. Uh, Talk to JD about it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't actually, I, I was thinking about this because I saw it, and I was like, I don't actually remember. <laughs> <laughs> but really, I don't know. But, but you wouldn't have given Candy that kind of power to stop somebody, another artist on your label's record, right? You said what well, now? You wouldn't have allowed Candy to stop. I appreciate That's what I'm saying. So that, but uh, that was the allegation. No, that was the. No, that was no, the. No, no, nobody can. Uh, no, it doesn't have nothing to do with it. I don't. Like I said, I don't. I don't actually remember what actually happened mm -hmm. um, in the process of of Tasha's project. Um, but I do know that um, it was it was moving forward. Um, when when I did when I did bounce with me. Um, Tasha, that's actually Tasha singing by herself on that song. Um, and so me and Tasha was in the studio at that time. I, I just don't, I don't remember. I don't remember what, what was, what was actually happening. There was a lot going on at the time. Um, cause like, I think if you, you know, it, and, and it's so crazy cause I, I was, Nelly was in the studio with me last night. We was talking about these egos and he's like, he's like, JD, that's your job. That's what you do. You deal with all the egos. You know how to do it very well. Cause if you remember like when I did So So Death 20th anniversary, it was only two girls that came on stage <laughs> and performed as Escape at the 20th. Oh, right? wow. So it's, 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 right. And at that time, it was Tasha and her sister. And Tamik and Candy didn't show up. So it was like, um, I don't pay no attention to this either. I don't, I just, I just, it's okay. It is what y'all, you know. I, I love it. I actually like it more or less than anything. I know everybody probably like, this guy's wild. But the fact that you guys are talking to these girls in 2023, mm -hmm. Um, and I signed them in 92, and they are, like, at the top of the conversation on every blog, on TV, radio. Um, it's, it's, it, it, it's a, um, that's a real, I feel like something, um, that says something about the talent yes. that they are, that people really still care about them, you know Absolutely. what I mean? Uh, enough to even, for you to even be asking me about them, it's like, that's the first group I ever signed, and for them to still be, you know, they probably, uh -huh. as, they probably more popular yeah, now like than they were when, you know I mean, when I first signed them. So it, I feel like, and I feel like we in that, we in that, that world where if you, you know, Candy's been a housewife since the duration, right? Since it first started, right? So she comes, she's basically part of that world and they have basically gone into that world. So I think it's like, it's almost like what you was just saying, Tigger, about like, um, me going into different, you know, sectors of life. I feel like they have evolved right. from this early 90s girl group to, you know, mm -hmm. uh, a talked about girl group in the 2000s and then right, they're right. continuing to keep it going. So I, I feel like, I feel like hopefully they all understand we only get one life, right? We only get this, we only get one life. So all of this excitement, turn it into something, yes. put an album out. <laughs> that's, that's what I hope happens. But JD, they really out here in the blogs and getting talked about not for their music, it's mostly for drama. What the hell is you talking about? Yeah, like I said, just let me know in the comment section below. See y'all later.